Mark Lafleur grew up in Cornwall, Ontario, which is a town of about 60,000 people 90 minutes south of Ottawa. He was one of only three black students at his high school, so there weren't many kids he could relate to. But little did he know that one day his company would create a product Canadians from coast to coast would use and love. When Mark was young, he never thought he would one day grow up to be an entrepreneur. In school, he never learned how to start a business, manage money, or hire employees. In fact, he was a pretty bad student and always getting into trouble. All he ever heard from family and teachers was go to school, get good grades, and then go to college and learn a trade or a university, which really didn't appeal to him at all. Although, if he had known that being an entrepreneur or starting his own business was an option, he probably would have paid more attention in school and started his entrepreneurial journey a lot sooner. Thankfully, Mark liked to play football and found a reason to do well in school. With his new purpose, Mark gained the confidence to work hard and turn his grades around. In only one year, he went from failing his classes to getting into the University of Waterloo to do a Bachelor's of Science with a major in health. It was at Waterloo University that he started to really look into starting his own business. So Mark and his friends put their student loan money together and tried to build an app, thinking that it'd make them millionaires by summer. Of course, that didn't happen, but it did get the ball rolling. In 2016, Mark created an online platform for people to buy locally raised meat products. He and his co-founder built a team and set up their business in a warehouse in Mississauga. It wasn't a pretty place, but it didn't matter. Mark was helping to pack boxes for the first two years before the business really started to see some traction. Two years in, they went on Dragon's Den, the classic trial-by-fire entrepreneur show. The publicity and investment boost made them a national brand. And exactly five years after starting his company, Mark sold it for $16.7 million. There's a lot of stats that show it's harder to be successful as a black founder. But Mark believes that all that adversity that comes with being black and all the times he's been told no actually make black people even more prepared to face the challenges of being a founder. Being a founder isn't an easy path, and you'll have to work harder than anyone else to be successful. But if you do it, it will always be worth it, he says.